We're now going to be demonstrating FutureCam from Dellcam, which is a very popular CAM product for those working with Pro Engineer models and Creo models from PTC. We start with a solid model that comes directly from PTC. It's got no manufacturing features identified, and that's the process we need to go through now. So a single solid model. We'll use our automatic feature recognition to identify them. There's a wizard that steps you through the process. It identifies all the features in the model here. We'll select the ones we would like and finish. At this point, what's really we have to point out is all the things that you don't have to do. We don't have to create the operations manually. We don't have to select the tools. We don't have to come up with feeds and speeds because all of that is done for you in FeatureCam. This is a turn mill part which combines both milling and turning features into the same program. So we can see the simulation all the way through, both the roughing, finishing operations, and our part is complete at this point. We now, within a matter of 30 seconds, have created the program and we now have an NC program ready to run on our machine. Machining details, time estimates, everything is complete for manufacturing this part. Now at this point we look at this and we've identified all the features that are, that are part of the solid model and now we'd like to add an edge break along the top edge where we have a sharp edge with two features. So we're going to add a chamfer feature for an edge break. You can see that it comes all the way up to the edge of the part. And at this point, we'd like to simulate this with the built-in machine simulation that runs inside a feature cam. So we can see that it simulates the entire machine. We're going to run this on a Morisiki NL. And we'll be able to simulate the entire environment as we simulate the toolpaths. In this type of simulation, you can see any type of collision with any of the tools, any parts of the machine, the fixture. So it's very, very helpful in preventing errors before you get to the shop floor. Now as we zoom in, we can see the final operation, which is the edge break there in the, in the light blue color. And you can see that it stops just short and see that it's gouge detected. So even in features that are not available and present in that solid model, we can add them later on and should still have complete control over the process, even though we automate the beginning of this process. Now as a final step, you can see all of our features there on the left-hand side, all the ones we've created automatically. But the final step we'd like to do is rearrange some of the operations. Let's take the milling operations at the bottom and push this up to the beginning of this. So we have complete control over the manufacturing process. And now we'll see we start with the milling and then we'll complete the process with the turning and the drill. Once again, simulated in the machine simulation environment that's integrated inside a feature. So at this point, we've completed our part. We are ready to run this on our Morris machine.